Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some CAM templates. In the CAM templates, we're going to pick a machine definition as well as preload some cutting tools into the carousel. To begin with, I'm going to start by editing the standard project template that I use whenever I start a new project. To do this, I'll go to my project manager. And then when it opens up, it opens up directly into my project manager. And in order to see project templates, I have to click this icon here. And that'll show them my templates directory. And you can see here I have a bunch of them. I'm just going to edit my standard inch template. To open up that project, I'm just going to double click. Now, in here, for example, I have a couple of projects, or a couple of templates. I have a turning one, one turret, one spindle. I also have a five axis trunnion. I'm just going to delete that. Now notice when I hit delete, it didn't actually delete yet. The reason being is because this was a checked in object, so in order to delete it, I have to check it in after the deletion, like that, it'll go away. And we can go ahead and empty our recycle bin then, okay? So, nope, oh, don't even need to do that, perfect. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna right click on templates and say that I would like a new machining document. Here I'll choose without template. And then the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the default machine I want. Now there's two ways to go and select your machine. One is to go to the Equipment tab and go right here to select a machine. Another right here, select a machine. You can also select the hyperlink down here at the bottom of the Operations Manager. Whatever way works for you, works for us. From here, you can choose from Universal Machines, and these are machines without any physical machine shown. You can just see the kinematic. This is an XYZ with the table A, B. Or you can work through the libraries and find the machine. And you can see we have a bunch of machines that are standard with the software. For example, I'm going to go grab the Mitsui Seiki machine and I'll validate. So this is going to load a copy of that machine. Now that that machine's loaded, we can zoom out. And you can see there's our full machine. Perfect. And I'm going to rename this part to be 4-axis mill. We'll keep the name nice and simple. Next, I'm going to go to my Equipment tab and go to my Tool Manager. It's here that we can preload cutting tools. I'm going to resize this a little bit. For example, maybe in Tool 10, I already have a face mill. So I'm going to select Face Mill, and I'll go double-click on Tool 10. And here, we can pick on the right tool that we want to use. For example, here I have my standard 2-inch face mill. That's perfect, so I'll validate, pick that. That will be loaded in this template automatically. And I can keep doing that. I can keep loading these tools with standard cutting tools. So for example, tool 5, maybe we have a standard spotting drill. Okay, um, so let's filter down. Maybe what we have in here is a 3 8 spotting drill. Perfect. So that'll be preloaded. And you can continue this process until you have everything loaded the way that you want it to be loaded. Sound good? Perfect. From there, I'm just going to validate. And like that, I'm going to hit Save. And then I'm also going to go over here and I'm going to check this in because this is a project template that we're editing. So I'll come in here and I'll check that in. That's perfect. And like that, I'm just going to close my project. Now just to test this, I'm going to start a new project. So I'm going to grab my inch template, and I'm going to call it, this is a test, because then I know I can delete this. And if I validate the test, it's going to create a new project for me, which is going to load the same thing we just had, just as a copy. And if we look under templates, there's our four axis mill, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here to parts, why not? And I'll say new machining, but this time I'll choose my four axis mill. We'll validate, and what we should see is that our four axis mill loads up the way it was saved, okay? And if we go up here to equipment and go to our tool manager, we can see that the tools that I have preloaded are already present on this machine. And that can save you some valuable setup time when you're working to program a new job.